International Math Olympiad 2014, problem number 4. Points P and Q lie on side BC of acute angle triangle ABC such that angles PAB and BCA are congruent and angles CAQ and ABC are congruent. Points M and N lie on lines AP and AQ respectively such that P is the midpoint of AM and Q is the midpoint of AN. Prove that lines BM and CN intersect on the circumcircle of triangle ABC. This problem is not too hard. We see on this picture triangle ABC with points P and Q on side BC where point P is the midpoint of straight line segment AM and point Q is the midpoint of segment AN and point R is the point of intersection of straight line segments BM and CN. This picture is not made to scale. It's approximate just for il illustration. Two pairs of congruent angles are marked by blue and red arcs respectively. From this it follows that two triangles ACQ and ABP are similar because each of them has a combination of one red and one blue angle. And from that we can deduce fact number one that angle BAC is congruent to angle APB because angle BAC from the triangle BAC equals 180 degrees minus one red and one blue angle. And the same is true for angle APB from the triangle APB where this angle is also equal to 180 degrees minus one blue and one red angle. Let's recall that point P is the midpoint of the segment AM. If we prolong the side BC to point X such that point P is the midpoint of segment BX then P is the point of intersection of two diagonals of parallelogram ABMX since its two diagonals divide each other in half. If we also prolong side BC to point Y so that point Q is the midpoint of segment CY then we'll obtain the second parallelogram in which point Q is the point of intersection of its two diagonals. Note that our two similar triangles ACQ bounded by three blue segments and triangle ABP bounded by three red segments are formed each by two diagonals of each of these two parallelograms respectively, which implies that these two parallelograms are supposed to be similar, with every pair of their corresponding elements being similar. Now we need to trace two corresponding congruent angles of these two parallelograms marked by blue arcs. Note that one of them belongs to the first parallelogram ABMX and has vertex A. The remaining part of angle A of this parallelogram is marked by green arc. Then ACB, also marked by blue arc, has vertex C, which is also vertex C of the second parallelogram AYNC. And the remaining part of angle C of that second parallelogram is angle NCY. So these two angles NCY and XAM are congruent. Angle XAM is congruent to angle AMB. This is because the transversal line AM crosses two parallel lines XA and MB. From this follows that angles NCY and AMB are congruent and since these two angles are subtended by the same segment PR from the same side it follows that the points PR, M and C lie on one circle. This is the key fact in the solution of this problem. 
Since four points, P, R, M, and C, lie on one circle, we can conclude that angles M, R, C, and M, P, C are congruent since they are subtended by the same chord or arc M, C. Now, angles M, P, C and A, P, B are congruent since they are two vertical angles and angle A, P, B is congruent to angle B, A, C. This is our fact number one. The conclusion is angle M, R, C is congruent to angle B, A, C. And since C, R, B is a supplementary angle to angle M, R, C, and two angles B, A, C and C, R, B are subtended by the same segment C, B from two opposite sides, we obtain that points A, B, C and R lie on one circle which is what we needed to demonstrate.